Happening in the Elm City, New Haven Public Schools scrambling right now to shrink a hefty $12 million gap in funding before the start of the next school year. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones is live to break down how the city is working to battle this budget crisis. Marcy. That's right. Good morning, Caitlin and Nicole. Well, the goal today is really to find funding and find it fast. We're not just talking about a few thousand dollars either. The shortfall is really $12 million. And the fear here is if they can't come up with this money, that there will be lots of job cuts as well as program cuts. Now, Monday night, the Board of Education had a very heavy discussion about this ways to balance the school's budget. New Haven School District is not the only one facing budget troubles, due in large part to COVID relief funds coming to an end. After three years of federal education rescue aid, the school board needs to heavily restructure where their money goes. The superintendent says that all suggestions are open for consideration, like fewer bus routes, larger class sizes, and layoffs. Teachers say not only do they fear for their jobs, but the impact it will have on their students. I'm looking at the things we're trying to do with my preschoolers and how if we can't meet those needs at those insanely important foundational and formative years, and then we're playing catch up for the rest of their educational lives. Now, the school board doesn't have a ton of time to make their decision. It's really less than a month. July 1st is when the next fiscal year begins. Reporting live in New Haven, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. You can